Well, it's Process the Cons Day right here at the old Hertog household. What I have done is out here on my panning station, I have uh, set up my new toy. I purchased a bucket concentrator, little sluice from the California Sluice Company. And that is this little item right here. Basically it uh, hooks up to a five gallon bucket and with a water source has a uh, set of drop riffles in here. And we're going to see how it works today. I have uh, been processing uh, the many, 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 many buckets of cons that I had. I went ahead and broke them all down. This is my, uh, let's see, that's 20 mesh right there. And that's what I'm working on right now. And over here, you see the blue bucket with the 30 mesh. Behind that, we have the little square with the 50 mesh. And finally, the square container with the 100 mesh. Right. I'm going to go ahead and run this entire pan of 20 mesh concentrates. I'm not expecting to see too much gold, but uh, I may be pleasantly surprised, or unpleasantly, because that'll mean that I'm a crummy panner. In any case, uh, this is what's going on here. I get to sit here, drink my Pepsi, and look out at this view, which is pretty much okay with me. I thought I'd show you the setup I have uh, made here for this little bucket sluice concentrator. And what I've done is, as we look inside, I've got my bilge pump down inside the big bucket. Or, uh, a second five gallon bucket at the base, which I filled with water and then put a uh, half inch classifier in. Now I've raised up the final bucket, which is the support bucket for the sluice. And as you can see, I've cut a couple of holes here to allow the uh, water to flow out before getting up to the base of the sluice itself. All right. My power system brings back here to a little jump start 12 volt battery system. So basically this entire unit is highly portable. You could take it along to the creek and process your cons right at Creekside if you have a little battery and some source of water. And I'm going to try and do this. It's a little more difficult to operate the camera and do things, but you can see that I put the material in one tablespoon at a time. So it's going to take me a long time to get through this entire pan of cons. And as we see in here, we got a flow, nice flow lot of reflection that's what we got. Uh, got a nice flow through the drop riffle system. I'm gonna come around to the other side see if we can see what's in the riffles. And over from this side we're still getting reflection. It's pretty much new but uh, I am seeing one of the sites that I uh, I am digging right now has a lot of very very small garnets and I'm seeing that I'm getting a real good collection of garnets in the riffles, which means if the garnets are holding, why the gold will definitely be holding in there. I will continue through the pan and we will see what uh, kind of gold we get. I now remember that uh, some of the cons I have were from friends that didn't want to take them home, and as a result, now I don't know exactly how much gold I am going to get in here. I'm starting to think maybe I will see a little bit more gold than I had originally planned. 
Well, you can see the amount of uh, cons that came out of the little bucket sluice concentrator at this point. And this is just my 20 mesh. And... So I went from a half a five gallon bucket full of 20 mesh cons down to this. All right. Which is a entirely workable and panable amount of material to work. I will now start panning. And of course since panning videos are pretty boring just sitting here watching the guy pan, I'm gonna cut it down to uh, black sand and I'll be back in a minute. All right, well we can see that uh, I must have done a pretty good job of panning because in actuality there's uh, one, two, three pieces of gold right there. Back up a little bit. And that's all we got out of that uh, whole batch of concentrates. It's time to go ahead and do it another size and I'll see what we get out of that. Well, here we have the uh, gold recovered from the 30 mesh. And as I was suspecting, due to the size of the gold that I've been getting around here where I've been digging, the 30 mesh definitely had more gold values inside. But uh, not a bad little pan for uh, rerunning items that were panned out down at the uh, at the creek. I'm back after uh, running my 50 mesh, my minus 50, through the little bucket sluice concentrator. And I must say I am impressed. This thing catches very small gold. As you can see in the first and second riffle, there is a sufficient amount of gold showing up. Down at the third riffle, there's just a little bit. And I see one speck down in the fourth riffle. Beyond that, everything else is clear. And that shows that this little unit works like a charm. That'll be fascinating to see what it does on 100 mesh. And I'll be doing that next. Here you have the uh, results from the 50 mesh, minus 50, uh, done through the bucket sluice concentrator. Uh, these sluices are available from California Sluice Company out of Fresno, California. And thus far I am very impressed with the quality of the product, their shipping, and the fact that it does get the fine gold. Here's the results from the uh, 100 mesh test in my bucket sluice concentrator. As you can see here in riffle number one, there's a nice line of very, very fine gold. Riffle number two, again, a nice line. Riffle number three has some. Riffle number four, just a tad. And riffle number five, just a little visible gold. Beyond that, I'm not seeing much by way of gold on down the rest of the riffles. And this just shows that uh, this little sluice will pick up gold down to 100 mesh. I haven't got any 400 mesh out here, so I'm uh, not even going to bother with that. We're at the end of our test here but it uh, performed quite admirably. I'm very pleased.